There are many obvious bridges in the world that just haven't been built. Just look at the map. Why isn't there a bridge between Russia and Alaska? The Cold War is over, right? Give us a cold highway to make a road trip from Ohio to Paris possible. Or how about all those islands? We've locked Florida to its keys with a whole series of bridges. How come we can't hook Indonesia altogether, or even just the Caribbean? Prince Edward Island has been a part of Canada since 1873. How come it took until 1997 for them to get a bridge to their own country? It's so obvious. Now, there is a problem with all these obvious sites. Remember the scale. If you can see C on a map, it's probably too wide for a bridge. In addition to the sheer length, there are many other critical factors like the depth of the water, seismic activity, and marine traffic. But sometimes, it seems like the reasons to build a bridge outweigh all the challenges, giving us mammoth products like San Francisco's Golden Gate Bridge over the bay, or Turkey's Kanakal Bridge, connecting Europe and Asia. But there's a site perhaps more ancient than either of those. The Straits of Messina between Italy and Sicily. Why not finally connect the boot together? Most people draw them as one anyway. At its narrowest, the straits are just under 2 miles, or 3.2 kilometers. People have swam that easily. It turns out the merits of this obvious bridge have been known for some time, 2,000 years at least. In the year 23 AD, Pliny the Elder writes of a plan by the Romans to bridge the straits using a series of connected boats. Indeed, it was claimed that this was even done at one point in order to bring a tribute of elephants from Carthage to Rome across the straits. But, despite other impressive Roman bridges that are still standing today, the Messina Bridge was never built. The appeal, though, remained for centuries. Around 800, no less a medieval king than Charlemagne proposed that a bridge be built, followed by later Sicilian rulers such as Robert II in the 1200s. As the Italian peninsula united into one country in the 1800s, the matter was looked at again. Engineer Giuseppe Zanardelli was convinced that the straits could be bridged, though also proposed that a tunnel could be tried instead. But, despite him and other Italian engineers, nothing really came of either idea. In 1908, tragedy struck Sicily, as a massive earthquake destroyed much of Messina, the populous Sicilian city that gives the straits its name. Over 80,000 people perished in the quake. In addition to the massive destruction of the town, this raised new concerns that a bridge could be built stable enough to survive the seismically active area. Still, hopefuls kept the idea alive, spreading the gospel of the obviousness of the bridge. Every decade of the 20th century saw some new proposal or government commission to grade either a bridge or tunnel, with a bridge generally being seen as more likely. And yet, for every commission, feasibility study, or survey completed, no ground was ever broken. Between 1965 and 2006, over 1.2 billion euros had been spent on studies of the bridge site. To put that in perspective, the cost of the bridge at that time was estimated to be 4.5 billion euros. A few more decades of studies, and the bridge could have been built already. The currently planned bridge would be of impressive scale. Two lanes of traffic would pass either way, with an additional lane for emergency vehicles. In between the roadways, a double-tracked railroad would connect Sicily to the mainland. The latter is said to be especially fruitful for Sicilian economic prospects, which would be able to export more vegetables to the mainland and the rest of Europe. For while Sicily used to be a rich province relative to the rest of Italy that a bridge would bring wealth in from, recent economic downturns have caused the island to be in more need of stimulus from its northern neighbor across the strait. Like many infrastructure proposals around the world, the bridge would be said to bring many needed jobs to the area. As of 2023, the Italian president has approved yet another iteration of the bridge, as had been declared in 2006, 2009, 2016, 2020, and 2021. If the 2023 plan does indeed go through, the bridge could start as soon as 2024. But there is a reason that the English expression, when hell freezes over, is roughly equivalent to the Italian expression, I'll do it when the bridge to Messina is finished. For all the obviousness, there are still key issues when discussing the bridge. In addition to the marine traffic and the environmental considerations, there is the specter of the 1908 earthquake, that demands the bridge be strong enough to withstand any seismic activity. Additionally, while the straits are named after Messina, Messina does not sit on the narrowest part of the straits. The two towns that would actually be connected by bridge are Torre Faro and Via San Giovanni, whose combined population is a tenth of Messina's. Billions of euros would have to be spent on either side of the bridge to improve the infrastructure just to get the road to go anywhere important. 
And all this is when a regular ferry line already exists and has served the strait for centuries. Critics say the money from the bridge should be used to fix Messina's deteriorating roads, which, in their current state, requires trucks to squeeze down narrow, deteriorating alleys just to get to the ferry. But the allure of the bridge still remains for many, even if most Italians by now think it'll never happen. As long as there are maps that show two pieces of land appearing oh so very close, people will always think that it's an obvious spot for a bridge.